Well, what can I say? It's it's a marvellous film. I think it's Eastwood at his best, and um, Gene Hackman turns in a wonderful performance. Richard Harris steals the show, even though he's only in a few scenes, and... Hey, wait a minute, what the... Okay, uh, I've just double-checked. I'm not doing a review of the movie Unforgiven. I am, true to my word, doing a review <laughs> of Wild Turkey's Forgiven. Unforgiven. Forgiven. I could be forgiven for making that mistake, uh, you might say. Just for your reference, I am in possession here of the 2013 Special Edition batch. Wild Turkey started, roughly speaking, in 1891. Thomas Rippey built the Old Hickory Distillery. A bourbon distillery. Unfortunately, this distillery did die a death due to Prohibition, which, you know, uh, sundered obviously a lot of bourbon distillery uh, groups. Um, at the end of the Prohibition era, the distillery was restored, and later on down the line, they finally adopted the name that you and I know and love, Wild Turkey. Now, I said there was a, there was a story to this dram, and here it is. They were mixing up their bourbons one, one dark, stormy night. And there was a bit of a mishap, and they accidentally mixed some very rare rye whiskey with some bourbon. Russell tried it out and went, actually, this is not too bad. All is forgiven, fellas. And that's what you have here. It is a combination, a bit of a mixture, of bourbon and rye. So about 78% is bourbon, uh, a six-year-old bourbon, and the remainder is of a four-year-old rye. So even though this is a NAS, there's no age statement on the bottle, we know the ages of the two main components. Let's uh, have a squiz at the bottle and see what we're dealing with. <laughs> with just one taste, our associate master distiller, Eddie Russell, Russell uh, knew their mistake was more a master stroke. Because it married the very best qualities of our robust rye whiskey and a fine bourbon, vanilla oaky taste pointing perfectly towards cinnamon, cloves, and pepper finish. Aged, of course, in our number eight alligator child barrels, something we'd never leave to chance. Well, yeah. <laughs> Are we going to take a risk on this one and try and mature it inside a, a bathtub? I know, I know. It's advertising spin, it's bling, it's razzle-dazzle. Give them the old razzle-dazzle. Let's just drink it. The whiskey details. So this obviously it is made in the US of A, the state of Kentucky, one would assume. So it is an ass. It is 45.5% ABV. So as I've mentioned, you know, bourbons are, are all naturally coloured, so no artificial colouring, all natural. Sort of like a cinnamon mixed with cloves in the cork. Mmm. Hits you off right at the start with a lot of vanilla and a lot of that, uh, kind of, I'd say, a cherry smell in the nose. And you can really smell the rye. I know there's only a bit in there. I mean, what, how much did I say it was? It's only 22% rye, but it's it's really prominent. It really stands out. So I'd say rye spice, cinnamon, a little bit of caramel lingering in the nose. Rye, generally speaking, is quite spicy, so I'm getting that, that rye spice in the taste, very pronounced. Very strongly accompanied by a hint of vanilla and a, a more healthy dose of oak. So quite an oaky taste there. Probably the, the, that oakiness is probably also an indication of the, uh, the age of the, the components, the, the rye and the, the rye whiskey and the bourbon. There's a minty character. Closer to, sp I'd say spearmint, not peppermint, so... Not as sharp. A very faint suggestion of butterscotch. But just a hint of it, because it's... It's, it's actually not overly sweet. 
I'd say it's a short to medium finish. The spiciness has faded. There's that kind of lingering butterscotch bit of cinnamon in the finish. Hmm. But it's quite nice. Quite a surprise. You can really pick up those rye notes. The the rye rice rye, rye spice in the smell and the taste, it's um you, you can definitely tell it's there. Well, uh a happy accident. Happy accident that I ran into it. This is actually the second of, of Wild Turkey's sort of uh, higher shelf offerings that I've had, and both have been pretty good. I wouldn't say it blew me away, but uh, very nice. Mm. An interesting juxtaposition there. I think some people might actually be turned off by it, though. You know, they'll be thinking, well, why, why, why am I not just drinking a rye whiskey? Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Um, to each his own. That's 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 the motto of of my life and my channel. Well, if you have enjoyed this review, thank you so much. Please do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my whiskey reviews. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I never know where the button's going to be. Yes, it'll be there. It will be there. Um, I have a Facebook page. Look up JDC Drinks Whiskey, and you will find me there. I had fun on this one, I hope you did too, and I look forward to sampling another whiskey for you salty dogs very, very soon.